my name is Anna Malzuski. I am the knitter and the author behind the blog, Knitting Up a Storm. Welcome to our next episode. It is Wednesday, September 23rd. Um, this will be a quick little episode because I have to teach um, in the evening. So um, I only have a couple things to share anyway, so it wasn't going to be long, no matter what. So um, I took a little bit of a summer hiatus for knitting. Um, once August, the end of July hit, I started feeling like, okay, fall is coming soon, so it's time to get back into knitting, which I usually do every year. Um, so, let me share with you a couple things I have going. Um, I designed a fall cardigan in very fall colors. It's a top-down raglan with um, several different yarn skeins of fall colors. I am testing out um, Lion Pride's wool spun yarn. So it has a wool blend in acrylic um, blending in there. So let's see what the ratio is. said 80% acrylic and 20% wool. Um, I like wool blends. I wish there was a little bit more wool so that it'll keep warmer in the winter or the cold fall season. Um, but it should be pretty durable. So I really was inspired by this cardigan. Um, I don't know if you really call it a cardigan. It's more like a wrap. But I was inspired by um, some of the color changes in this. So um, I don't know if you can see, but maybe right here. This yarn, put this color away, kind of does the same sort of thing as this. And this yarn, which is, um, it's called Mesa Print. This um, does the Fair Isle type of print, just like um, the Opal Socks. It does the same sort of thing, but it's in bulky weight. Um, so I also was going to mix a couple other skeins in the same type of colorway colors that are throughout those two different printed skeins. So um, that's what I came up with. So it should look like I did more work than I did. Although I do have several strands to weave in at the end. Um, so let me try it on. Let me give you an idea of what it looks like. So I purposefully didn't go too close because I'm going to um, have a thick band here. Um, I'm trying to think of the buttons that I'm going to use, but I think it's going to be... Um, one of those barrel type of buttons. Is that even what it's called? I don't know. But I just did a little bit of um, decreases here and I'm now going to do increases for my hips. So it's going to be a little bit shaped. I am going to have um, the border run all the way up here in ribbing so I'll hold it together tighter. Um, and I will do pockets because I think every good cardigan should have pockets. Um, so I'm going to do an afterthought pocket, which is kind of like an afterthought heel for socks. So um, the idea behind that is um, the area that I want to do a pocket, I'm going to knit X amount of stitches and waist yarn, um, finish the cardigan and then come back, take out those waist yarn stitches, put them on needles and work in the round and then push um, the fabric back in and it should be a pocket. I have not done this before, um, so it's a little experiment of mine, but um, if you could do that for a heel, why not do that for a pocket? A really easy pocket that I don't have to sew in because I'm all about seamless knits because I don't like sewing at all. It doesn't look good when I do it. So, um, that is my cardigan. 
other than that, um, I started a new project. It's called Reina. Um, I don't have a picture with me because the, the pattern um, was just instructions. So, and I did not look it up ahead of time so that I could show you um, in the screen. But I will post a picture, insert it in this video. Um, so Reina is a shawl that is mesh lace and also garter stitches. Um, so it, X amount of rows, there'll be garter and then mesh, then garter, then mesh. Um, I'm testing out my hand spun yarn for this project. So if you remember this from my last podcast or two, um, this is my blue, bluish and black. There's a little bit of pink in there. Um, hand spun yarn that is, it's a very light worsted weight, kind of teetering between fingering and light worsted because I'm still a beginner spinner. Um, I think it's more on the light worsted weight side. So I um, spun this, I spun this, um, I wrapped this into a cake so that I could knit this up. I'm on a roll for not being able to speak. So, I'm using my um, Knit Picks Interchangeable Needles, size 4, just like the instructions asked. Now, I like literally just cast this on before I started this video, so I don't have much going, but um, this is what it looks like so far. So, this is the garter section. Um, what I like about this pattern, besides that it's free and it looks nice, is that there's a row tracker which I've thought of doing in my own patterns not quite like this but um, there's a section of boxes and the boxes that are the wrong side of the work is actually in gray and then the white boxes are the right side of the work so I thought that was really clever um, so I could make a tick for every box that or every row that I did um, and it's even labeled like boxes from the garter section or the mesh section so it's also a really good visual of where I am in the pattern and um, how many rows visually are going to be for the mesh versus the garter section. Um, so yeah, so it's called Reina, R-E-Y-N-A. It's a free pattern. Um, how do you pronounce her name? Nura? N-O-O-R-A, and then her last name is L-A-I-V-O-L-A, -L -A. and I found this on Ravelry. So, um, yeah, so I'm excited about knitting up my hand spun. Looks like regular yarn, you know, so I'm pretty happy about that, that it doesn't look lopsided and it doesn't look really obvious that I spun this yarn myself. Other than that, I've been enjoying um, doing scented candles again and drinking tea. Like today I'm drinking Yogi's Cinnamon Vanilla. I actually got this from Ross, discounted, and I don't know why because it's actually really great tasting. Um, it's very cinnamony, um, very warm, so it's not just cinnamon, it, there's a little bit of a vanilla kick in there. Um, so I can't drink coffee too much. I mean, I drink it every day. So if I drink it more than once a day, um, it really upsets my system, um, my stomach, like too much acid in my stomach. So I try to drink more tea when I can. Um, there was, oh, when I was showing you my, my cardigan, I was gonna show you um, these needles. So this these needles are for my Denise interchangeable needles. Um, I asked my husband, I believe for more cords from my Knit Picks Interchangeable Needles, and I think he misinterpreted um, what, I, what I wanted from Christmas years ago. And he bought me a whole new set, uh, and it was the Denise Interchangeable Needle Set. Well, the cords that came with that set were pretty short, and they're blue, which I, I don't care that it's blue, but um, when I last went to um, a yarn shop, I found 
um, a really long cord from the interchangeable needle set. Um, it's 52 inches. Um, I got it for just under $7, but it's lavender, so it's very calm looking, but um, I do like having that length because whenever I knit top-down cardigans or sweaters, um, I like to have really long cords so that I could actually try it on. So, um, and I, I've said this in my $5 in Paris um, pattern that after so many inches, try on the, the knitted object so that you know if you need more increases or or if you're doing too many and you need to slow them down. Um, so it's good to try it on after every two or three inches just to make sure you're having this fit you properly. Um, because top-down raglans, as long as they're stuck in it, you could really cater to yourself. Um, I mean, you're not really counting stitches because it's not in a pattern. So if you want to do a couple more stitches in the front only, not around the sleeves, you could really um, cater your own fit. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I was so intense. Yeah. Anyways, um, so the office socks, I knit a couple rows a long time ago. Um, oh yeah, I was going to show you, um, what is that called? Opriana? the cardigan. Um, hold up. Alright, I'm back. Um, forgot to show you one of my actual knitted objects from the summer. So I have completed almost all of the back of the Abriana cardigan. Let me show you the wrong side. Um, so it's these little berry type stitches popping out. So I have about an inch or so left and then I'm going to bind off the top and then start um, the front side. So yeah, um, I knit several inches of that while I was on a family reunion on my husband's side that does it every year. Um, this year we went to Michigan and you know, we always have a blast during those reunions. Um, it's a huge family and they're just full of comedy pretty much. So it's it's always fun to join them every year for a week. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much what's going on. Um, besides, you know, I had updates to my house, like I got new carpet finally, which is really exciting, and a brand new piano, a grand piano. Um, so I'm enjoying practicing up a